In open play, Asnar were building the game in back three. Asnar's left back was inverted and he was operating alongside of Arsenal's pivot. Arsenal had double pivots in midfield as Arsenal's left back was inverted and they were Tommy Asu and Thomas Partey. The left back was operating as an inverted fullback and allowed Arsenal's second pivot to move into the final third. In open play, Arsenal were building the game in back three. Arsenal's right back was operating as a wide back role. Nottingham were pressing with sole men in open play and the Nottingham frontman was 2v1 against Arsenal's pivots. So in open play middle third, Arsenal had the number advantage of 5 versus 1 players against Nottingham's front line. Nottingham's midfield was operating deep and central in open play. Nottingham's midfield operating deep to allow Arsenal's pivot to easily receive the ball into the midfield and drive the ball. But Arsenal's pivots were unable to penetrate Nottingham's midfield because of Nottingham's midfield being compact and Arsenal's pivot and defender were forcing to build a game from wide zone. In open play, Nottingham's winger were operating deep and narrow and the winger's position was in the half zone. With winger's position in the half zone, Nottingham's winger had to cover a lot of distance when the ball was near Arsenal's wide backs in the wide zone. And Nottingham's winger were unable to close down Arsenal's wide back and Arsenal's wide back were able to receive the ball easily in the wide zone. Nottingham's midfield was defending deep in open play and Nottingham's midfielders were not pressing high. Only Nottingham's striker was high pressing in the middle third and his position was central and he was not able to cover any Arsenal player. Arsenal had the number advantage of 4 vs 1 player in open play middle third and Nottingham's front main position was central. So Arsenal's wide back could move into the middle third without any pressure. But Arsenal striker and midfielder were unable to receive the ball between the line due to the Nottingham's compact defending and the Arsenal striker and midfielder were being forced to drop in midfield. Arsenal were using double pairs at the start of the match and Arsenal left back was on inverted fullback. But later in the game, Arsenal were using single pivot and Arsenal's left back was providing width by staying wide. Arsenal's left back had the higher position than Arsenal's right back. Arsenal's left midfielder could rip inside because of Arsenal's left back pushing high, and Martinetti was 1v1 in front of Nottingham's fullback. In open play, Martinetti was playing between the line, and the Nottingham winger was covering Arsenal's fullback. If the Nottingham's midfielder position had been a bit here or there, Martinetti could have received the ball easily. So Nottingham's central midfielder was always checking Martinelli's position, and Nottingham's central midfielder was trying to cover Sedo Martinelli. Nottingham's central midfielder was covering Martinelli and Nottingham's winger was covering Arsenal's fullback. So space was being created between two wide players and Arsenal pivot and wide back were penetrating Nottingham's midfield. Arsenal striker and attacking midfielder were playing between the line in open play, but Nottingham had very little vertical depth between midfield and defence and Arsenal striker and midfielder were unable to receive the ball between the line. Arsenal looked dangerous in counter-attack, now let's go towards of Arsenal's second goal. When Arsenal started the counter-attack, the shape of Arsenal was roughly like this. Nottingham's midfielder was split, so Arsenal's pivot was free to drive the ball, and he was drive the ball till half a line. The midfielder and fullback of Nottingham were not aware of the run that Zaka took. Nottingham midfielder was loose Zaka and a brilliant run from Zaka between Nottingham's fullback and centre-back. When Zaka received the ball, Zaka bypassed Nottingham's fullback, so Nottingham's centre-back was forced to close down Zaka. And in transition, there was a 2v2 situation in front of Nottingham's centre-back and then Zaka's fullback and goal for Arsenal.